he scored one goal, it could have been quite easily more for us. It could have been, yeah. And I, I, at 1-0, like, you're thinking to yourself, are we going to get done with a sucker punch again? And we nearly did towards the end. He had one ball that went straight across the face of goal. And it could have been one of the players who, who you know, actually got on the end of it. So, I suppose, is that a little bit of luck? Because I think their goal led a, a charmed life as well. Because we did have great opportunities in the first half and one or two more in the second half. So, I, I don't think there's uh, any injustice on behalf of uh, Northampton. I think we played well and we deserve to win. I don't think anyone can argue about that. People talk about your position in the league. I think you're eight points adrift of safety. But if you look at Northampton, since New Year's Day, they've picked up ten points in four games. There's no reason why your side can't go and do something similar. There's no reason why we can't. There's no reason we will. You know, uh, Like I said, we are where we should be. There's no question about that. We've always overachieved and we continue to try and do that. And if we get relegated, we've overachieved again. It's as simple as that, but nobody wants to know. Chris Beast keeps reminding me nobody in the football world wants to know about our successes in the second bottom of the league. And he's right, but uh, it insults me a little bit as well, and it insults him because of the work that we've done at this football club and you know what we actually do to achieve more successes and glories for the football club. Today, superb result. Doesn't mean that it's going to happen again Tuesday or next Saturday, but we want it to, we're prepared to, but we've been preparing to get these results all season.